Minecrafters, guess what? It's time for another episode of Kimmy Say Craft, and I'm just here flying around my area, having a good old time, checking things out, trying to decide what the new project needs to be. Now, last episode, we went ahead and we went ahead and built our first shop, and you know what? I'm pretty excited. We'll go ahead and check it at some point later to see if we've made any sales. But you know what? We can't be we can't rest on our laurels. Nope, nope, we cannot rest on our laurels at all because we've got to start doing some more production. So guys, I'm going to I think today what we're going to do is we are going to build something real important because we need resources. And we need to be able to get those resources quick and we need to be able to sell extras of those resources. Now, what resources am I talking to? Probably the one of the most important resources, especially since there's not a shop for it yet, and that is the resource of wood. Now, I've been, t I've been doing a manual tree farm here since we started, and it's, it works out okay. I mean, I've almost got a shelker full of each kind of wood, which, you know, when I went to go ahead and make the um, barge, was really, really kind of nice. But I know that I'm going to be building a lot of buildings that are going to require a lot of wood. And so we need an audit, we need some sort of farm that's going to help us get that wood quickly and efficiently. Yep, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time having to um, manually chop it or waiting for it to manually grow. So that is a priority. Now the nice thing about, um, about it is I've already got my quote unquote creeper slash, um, well, it's kind of like a bone farm, I don't know if you know this. Not, I mean, it doesn't bring me huge amounts, but I do get a few stacks of bones here and there. Okay, and we might be able to even modify it to get more bones out of it, which honestly probably wouldn't be a bad idea considering, you know? So we might we might go in there and take some of the trapdoors out and turn it in and modify it into something that's going to give us a lot more bones and stuff too. I haven't decided about that yet. Nope, have not decided about that yet. But the reason why is, um, you know, a good tree farm always needs a good source of bone meal. Yep. And I actually found another farm, too, that I thought would be really great. That's a good source of bone meal, meal as well. So, but first, guys, we got to create a tree farm. So where are we going to put this tree farm? Well, right now, let me kind of show you what the idea is for the valley, okay? Is we're going to have all these buildings all around here down the valley. We're going to have a second tier with another walk with more buildings around it like this. We're going to have some structures up here um, and then you know down in this valley area over here we're going to have a bridge that'll span this chasm right here which i think will be kind of fun coming down into this little lake area or river area so we'll have kind of like a dock here where we can like oh lava where we can do that so where should we put the tree farm well you know i don't want to do things half measures but i'd also like to have something that's kind of already pre-flattened so I was thinking, there's a few different places we could place this tree farm. One, we can go ahead and clear this area out and put a tree farm like right in here, which wouldn't be bad, but there's still a lot there. We could go up here into the meadow, do a little bit of flattening, get a tree farm like right over here, you know. Um, that's a definite possibility, but now we're getting pretty far away from, from our territory. Now, um, I don't want to put it over this really deep lake. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. And I don't want to go so far over this way, even though we've got this plains area, which is kind of nice, because I don't know if I want to go this far for it. That's kind of a cool cavern. Pretty nice there, yeah. Well, let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm not sure if I want to go that far with it yet at all. Okay, we could go just over the mountain, then we've got this nice plateau area or this meadow area that's all over here, which is kind of cool. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of non-areas. Ooh, another cave. Whoops. Yeah, you can still hit your heads on, on cave walls. Okay, so I don't know, guys. What do you think? We could clear this area out. You know, but I was thinking about putting a big wall here. I think we need, uh, we need a big wall to kind of guard the valley so a big wall would be pretty awesome there which would mean we wouldn't want to put our thing there and since we're going to have a another thing here maybe maybe over here is the place to put it maybe this right here this area right up here would be a good place to put our tree farm we could go ahead and build something up in here then we could hollow out part of the mountain for a dark oak tree farm oh yeah 
because the tree farm itself is only going to be able to give us certain types of trees. So that means dark. So, or at least the one I'm planning to build is only going to give us certain types of trees. So that means a dark oak farm would be kind of nice to have, um, as well as an acacia tree farm as well, because we want to sell both of those. So I'm thinking, I think that's going to be the way to go. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I got to first off, I think I need to go ahead and flatten this area out. Yep. I want to flatten this area out some, maybe bring it down so that we have a nice area to work with. I'm trying to decide, and you know what? I do want it up on this hill. Yeah, I do want it up on this hill, so you have to come up here to um, to do it. So I think I think that's what's going to happen, guys. So I've got I've got a shulker here. I've got my shovels. I've got my pickaxes. I think we're going to start flattening this area out so that I can go ahead and start putting together this tree farm. I think that is where we're going to do it. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get right after this, and I will see you here in just a little bit. Hey guys, can we say, and I just kind of want to show you what's been going on. The wood farm is starting to come together, but I'm finding that the more I put onto it, the more resources I need. So I'm having to gather some more resources to help me do that. And if you're saying, what types of resources are you thinking you're needing to get this thing built? Well, first off, take a look at the honey blocks. Yeah, I had to get honey blocks and I don't have honey blocks. I don't have a place that sells honey blocks in the, in the thing yet. Huh. Oh, that was a bee up there, wasn't it? There, uh... Hive up here, or do we just have a loose bee? I'm sorry. Always kind of, I'm watching out for bees a lot recently now. Huh, interesting. A hive down here? Why oh, look, there is a hive. Okay, I might just snag that hive. Who knew that hive was there? Well, anyways, okay. Well, like I said, I've had I've had to get honey. And so what I had to do is I had to go ahead and find some hives. That's why I was interested in the hives, because I need to go find some bees. And so I made a really simple honey farm. Yep. Honey farm is pretty easy to bake. All you have to do is do a couple things. One, you have to go ahead and get yourself a dispenser, you know, with some bottles in there. Okay. We have to have flowers for the bees to do it. Okay. And then what we do is we do a simple... Um, comparator that only lets honey bottles through that way the, the empty bottles stay in the um, dispenser and then you create a quick um, thing to tell whether the honey's full so honey is full when you go five redstone so if comparators go one two three four five and what that then does is it triggers the dispenser to soak up the honey and put it in the bottles and then when you get honey very, very good like that. So very, very simple farm. Um, Automac does it all on its own. So I went ahead and built one of those because I needed honey. Yep, I needed honey. And then I said, well, you know, I'm going to need some sort of bone meal. So I went ahead and built a moss bone meal farm, which I'll be honest with you. I'm not very happy with it um, because it's really not making bone meal. Yeah, not to the degree that I need it. Right now, it is a net loss for bone meal. So I need to double check this design. There might be some better designs out there. Um, I went ahead and borrowed this design from another YouTuber, you know, and, I, and if I can get it figured out, I will put its comment, I'll put the comments down the line, but right now it's, I, I don't like it. It doesn't do a very good job of, of the moss blocks. I'll be totally honest with you. It just is not doing the good job of the moss blocks. So I, I need to find, I need to find a design that does better because right now it makes less, yep, it makes less bone meal than what it needs to operate. Oh yeah. See, not much as far as bone meal now from it, okay? So I, I, gotta, I gotta rework on that. But, you know, so far, you know, I'm finding that, yeah, it's going to probably take me another episode to get the tree farm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on it a little bit more. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it up, guys, but I will be back here in just a little bit to show you the progress on it. So far, we've got our, we've got our, um, our collection system. This right here, this is a collection system for collecting things like sticks but mainly saplings okay that's really what that whole base there is for is for collecting saplings and then what we have up here is we have um is is we have one of the things for crushing those saplings and stuff so still got several things to build up here but i just want to kind of give you a heads up as far as where we're at guys okay i'm gonna go ahead and get to work and see if i can get more of this done and i'll be back here in just a little bit Hey guys, I'm back, and let me kind of show you what's been going on. I kind of hit a stopping point. 
Yep, I still got a lot to do to finish up my tree farm, but I'm all out of slime. Yep. So right now I'm trying to get my slime farm, my slime chunk to work, but it hasn't been working. So maybe I don't have a slime chunk, but I got to figure out a better place to find slimes. So unfortunately, guys, I think I'm going to call it. But you know what? We did get some progress done. We got a bee farm. We got a moss farm going on. So definitely made some good things happen. In fact, how about we travel to the shopping district and see if any of our shops have made any money, right? Remember last week we went ahead and um, built a new shop. We built the barge and we put all sorts of good things there at the barge. Let's go ahead and rush over to the barge real quick and let's see if we made any money. By the way, guys, if you've been enjoying the video or enjoying content, you know, just go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And it's, it's, um, it's awesome, guys, when you do that, for sure, you know. So we're just going to go ahead and fly over to the shopping district. Yep. And let's see how we have done in our shops. Yeah. So pretty cool. Maybe we can just turn around for something else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, so let's walk over here to the shop. Everything's looking pretty good. Let's see. Um, do we got any? Ooh, we sold some bottles of XP. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Good. Have we sold a glowstone? Nope, no glowstone. No name tags. And we got extra chests for some other things. Maybe we'll be able to sell some other things. What else we got over here? Oh yeah, books. Do we sell like books? I know I've got some good books in there. No, but no string. No, I bought a string. No books. No eyes. Nope, nope. Wait, okay, spider heads. Nope, nobody wants spider heads. What else? Hey, books? Nope. But glass. Okay, I think glass is a good business to be in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. Ooh, we're gonna have to get a, a whole lot more glass, guys. But Sixteen diamonds. That is awesome. But unfortunately, guys, I think with that, we're going to have to call it a day. So thanks for hanging out with us. Tomorrow, we'll have another episode of the Myth Walkthrough, followed by the Pyro 101 Walkthrough. And then we'll be back over here again in the Let's Play. So thanks, guys, for hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to join our Patreon. You can play on the server with us. Guys, Kimmy say thank you so much. Have a great day, Minecrafters. Bye-bye.